In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to identify the horizontal asymptote and also the slant asymptote, which is also known as the oblique asymptote. So let's start with this one, 1 over x. Based on the previous lesson, you know that this graph has a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. Anytime the function is bottom heavy, meaning that the degree of the denominator is higher than that of the numerator, it's always going to be y equals 0 for the horizontal asymptote. The degree of the denominator is 1. That's the exponent of the x variable. The degree of the numerator is 0 because there is no x variable there. It's a constant. So therefore, it's bottom heavy. The degree of the denominator is greater than that of the numerator. So the asymptote is just y equals 0. So let's try this example. 7 over x minus 3. The degree of the denominator is 1. The degree of the numerator is 0, so it's bottom heavy. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Now what about this one? 5 over x plus 2 plus 3. So if you just look at 5 over x plus 2, it's bottom heavy. So it's y equals 0 for that. But notice that 3 is added to it. So 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. So the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 3. Now what about this one? 8x minus 6 over x squared plus 3x. So notice that this function is bottom heavy. The degree of the denominator is 2. The degree of the numerator is 1. So it's going to be y is equal to 0 because it's bottom heavy. Now let's say if we add a negative 9 to it. It's going to be 0 minus 9. So the horizontal asymptote is now y equals negative 9. Now what about this one? Let's say 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 4. What do you think the horizontal asymptote is going to be? So notice that the degree of the numerator is the same as that of the denominator. So it's neither top heavy nor bottom heavy. In a situation like this, divide the coefficients. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. So therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2. Try this one. Let's say if you have 12x minus 6 divided by 3x plus 4 plus 2. So as you can see, the degree of the numerator is the same as that of the denominator. So you divide the coefficients that are attached to those variables. So it's going to be 12 over 3 plus the 2 that we see here. 12 over 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 6. Try this one. 5 minus 8x squared divided by 2x squared plus 5, and then minus 5 on the outside. So we could see that the degrees of the top and the bottom are the same. So let's divide the numbers in front of those variables. So it's going to be negative 8 divided by 2 minus 5. That's negative 4 minus 5, which is negative 9. So the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to negative 9. So here's another problem. Let's say that y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 3. What is the horizontal asymptote? So the degree of the numerator is 2, and the degree of the denominator is 1. So it's top heavy. Whenever it's top heavy, there is no horizontal asymptote. But is there a slant asymptote? If the degree of the numerator exceeds the denominator by exactly 1, then there is a slant or an oblique asymptote. If the numerator exceeds the denominator by more than 1, there is no slant asymptote or oblique asymptote. So how do we go about finding the slant asymptote? In order to find it, you need to use long division. So we have to divide. The numerator is going to go on the inside. 
So let's divide this number, I mean that variable, by x. So x squared divided by x is x. Next, multiply. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. After that, subtract. So x squared minus x squared, that's going to be 0. And then we have 5x minus 3x. So that's going to be positive 2x. And 6 minus nothing, or 6 minus 0, is simply 6. So we could just uh, bring down the 6. And now let's divide again. 2x divided by x, well, that's going to be just 2. And then let's subtract. And then let's multiply first. 2 times x is 2x. And then 2 times 3 is 6. So there is no remainder in this case. We're just going to get 0. So what we have on top here, that is a slant asymptote. The slant asymptote is an equation. So it's y is equal to x plus 2. And that's how you find it. Now what about this one? 2x cubed minus 8x plus 6 divided by x squared plus 4. Now notice that the degree of the numerator exceeds the denominator by 1. So therefore, there exists a slant asymptote. So let's divide. Don't forget about the 0x squared. You need to write that in order to divide it correctly. So let's divide 2x cubed by x squared. That's going to be 2x. And then multiply. 2x times x squared. That's 2x cubed. And then 2x times 4. That's 8x, which I'm going to put it here. Now let's subtract. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that will equal 0. Negative 8x minus positive 8x, that's negative 16x. And we can bring down the 6. So we can't divide negative 16x by x squared. So therefore, this is the remainder. We don't need to worry about the remainder. The slant asymptote is what you see on here. So the slant asymptote is simply just 2x. Now what about this one? 5x to the 4th minus 6x plus 2 divided by 7x minus 3. So the degree of the numerator exceeds the denominator by more than 1. So there is no horizontal asymptote and there's no slant or oblique asymptote. The only time you can get a slant asymptote is if the numerator exceeds the denominator exactly by 1. So let me give you some practice problems based on the examples that you saw. Go ahead and pause the video and try these. Determine the horizontal asymptote and any slant asymptote. So as I'm writing this down, feel free to work through each one. So let's start with the first one. The highest degree is x squared. On top, we have a coefficient of 2. And on the bottom, negative 5. Both of these are x squared terms. And so it's just going to be 2 over negative 5. So that's the horizontal asymptote. Technically, I should write y is equal to negative 2 over 5. Now, for the next one, notice that we have a bottom heavy function. The degree of the denominator is greater than that of the numerator. 2 is greater than 1. So therefore, any time it's bottom heavy, the horizontal asymptote is 0. Now, this one is also bottom heavy, so that's 0, but we have a plus 4. 
So it's going to be y is equal to 4. Now, in this example, the degree of the numerator is the same as that of the denominator. So we need to divide the coefficients 8 and 4. So we have 8 divided by 4, but plus 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. And so it's y is equal to 5. That's the horizontal asymptote for the last example.